guys, it's Kendra. Today I have my July favorites for you. I have a lot of things to talk about. I have been trying out a lot of new products this month and really liking some of them. What are you showing up here for? Hi. Kyla has not been in a video in so long, but if you follow me on Snapchat, you probably see so many. Oh, say hi to everybody. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, let's get on to my favorites. Since I have so many things to talk about, I'm just going to jump right into it. So I'm going to start with a palette from Hourglass. So this is their ambient lighting palette, and this gets a lot of like mixed reviews. Uh, these are not like highlighters or bronzers. These are setting powders. Basically what they do is they're supposed to mimic different types of lighting. So this one is called Dim Light, which I actually have the full size of this one. It is kind of like a beige color, and this one is supposed to blur your imperfections and highlight for a radiant complexion. I can use this all over my face or just under my eyes. You want to use a very light hand when you're using these powders. They are not to like be caked on. Just a sheer wash of them is all you need or else they kind of lose their effect. Um, but this one does a really good job at, you know, just getting rid of your pores and making your skin look really flawless. It's almost like you have a filter on your face. The middle one is called Incandescent Light. This one is limited edition to the palette. So this is an opalescent pearl. It's supposed to brighten your complexion with a celestial glow. So a lot of people are talking about this one as it should be a highlight. But it's not technically a highlighter. It's basically just a powder that's going to give your skin a little bit of a glow. I use it like I would. Pretty sure my camera just cut me off. So if I didn't say enough about this bronzy one. I use this as I would a bronzer, but it's not going to give you your skin like a tan. It just kind of warms up your complexion and gives you a nice glow. It is so hot in here. If my hair starts like sticking, that's why. Okay, moving on to a few products from Pure. And I've tried a few things from Pure before. I've tried their palette, their eyeshadow palette that's the shimmers, and I really loved it. And then when I saw that they have a matte one, I was just like, yes. So they sent me some things. So these are the things that stood out to me the most. They are really, really good. The first thing that I've been loving is this eyeshadow palette. So this is called their Soul Mattes. There's eight ultimate matte eyeshadows in here. And I love the colors. That They're so pigmented. They're so buttery. There's like no fallout when you use them. Uh, they're very like warm in tone. A lot of kind of... Um, like rose colors. They're really pretty. This one right here is what I've been using in my crease like every single day. I love that. Um, it's very similar to texture from MAC. So if you guys like matte colors, I think you would love this. I like that it's very compact and it's perfect for travel. I can just use it for everything. The next product from them that I've been obsessed with is this powder. And I'm so sad I didn't use this in my makeup tutorial. I was totally going to use it because this is what I've been using. But I was doing my friend's makeup the other day and I brought a bunch of stuff and this was in there and I hadn't unpacked it yet. So this is called their 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup SPF 15. I have the shade Blush Medium. This is a tad, no it's not dark for me but I could not go any darker. So if you guys are any bit lighter than I am then definitely go a shade lighter than this. Basically it is a an SPF, a powder, a foundation, and a concealer all in one. So you just have to use it in different ways and different types of application to get each of those. So if you want to use it as a powder, which is what I do, I use it to set my foundation. I use a big fluffy brush like this, just all over your face, just like a, you just need a little bit. It's so pigmented, so covering. Like if you have any areas of redness, any pimples, anything, this is going to cover it for you. You can use it as a foundation if you want to use like a stippling brush, um, a powder foundation, not a powder foundation brush, um, where can I find it? Like this. Like a kabuki brush. This is what I use for liquid foundation, but you can use this for the powder and it just gives you a heavier application um, and it'll just like pick up more product. Or you can use it as a concealer, just use a concealer brush and you can apply it, you know, underneath your eyes or around your nose, on pimples, whatever. This is so beautiful. Like I have it on my face today. I like it because it's incredibly covering, but it feels very lightweight on your skin and it doesn't leave your skin matte. Like in my makeup tutorial, I talked about the Antonin powder, which I like the coverage that it gives, but it leaves my skin looking matte and I prefer, for, <laughs> prefer more of a 
natural kind of sheen to my skin. So this just kind of lets your skin, I don't know what it is, but I feel like my skin looks like just an improved version of it. It's supposed to smooth, firm, and lift your skin and also even out your skin tone and it's made with mineral pigment. So it's supposed to even out your skin tone over time. So I notice the difference when I look in the mirror and I see this. Also the other product that I'm going to talk about, I think the combination of these two is what I noticed. But just like looking at my skin right now, it just looks very natural. Um, my skin feels nice. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. Really good for sensitive skin. The other product that I've been using with that is the CC cream. So this is a Bra Spectrum SPF 40, which is great for the summer, and it's their color complexion correction. Okay, so I'm in the shade medium. So here is it on the back of my hand. It's a really like a perfect color match for me. These are also cruelty free. I forgot to mention that. This says that it's matte, but I honestly feel like it makes my skin look very natural. So I don't really see it as matte. Um, it's a lightweight formula. It protects protects, perfects, and color corrects. That rhymes. also has a brightening moisturizer in here, age-defined primer, and SPF foundation all in one. I did not even know that. I think it's the brightening moisturizer in here that is what makes my skin look really kind of luminous. I think this makes your skin look so beautiful. It applies so smoothly. I have never heard anybody talk about this. Like, I don't know. I've never heard anybody talk about this, but it's so good. I'm really, really picky with my face products and this just like I mean you can see it like on my back of my hand it's so moisturizing see how it gives my skin like a little bit of a sheen to it here is it compared to this was without it it just makes my skin look so nice I also have a 20% off coupon that you guys can use for pure minerals the entire site it is Pure Crush 20 I will link it down below but definitely take advantage of that this is by Macadamia natural oil and if you guys watch my empties I mentioned the macadamia natural oil mask and I said that I wasn't really that big a fan of it but this I really like so my hair ever since I got it lightened on the ends has been incredibly dry like so dry just to the point where I have to do like I have to do extra care to it than I was before so what I've been doing is after I take a shower I put in a leave-in conditioner and then when my hair is damp or dry I take a tiny amount, like a pea-sized amount of this, rub it through on my hands, and I run it through the ends, and then kind of like the areas where my hair is lighter, and then I also smooth it on the top. This, okay, first of all, the smell. This smells way better than the mask. Like the mask doesn't even, doesn't even smell that much. This smells so, it's like a very warm, oh my goodness, I don't even know. I, I This just reminds me so much of Hawaii because this is what I used when I was on my honeymoon, and I love the scent. Um, but it adds so much moisturizer to my moisturizer moisture to my hair. It makes it feel very smooth. It evens out, you know, the ends, so the cuticle is kind of sealed off. Don't use a lot of it. Um, I usually end up washing some of it off my hands, just a little bit, so that um, it adds that shine to your hair. Because without it, my hair just looks very dull and fried. Um, so I've just been loving that, especially for the summer. Next up is something kind of random. It is my beauty blender, but it's the eye one. It's like the little mini one. I have been using this every day for my under eye concealer. So I put my concealer on and I just dot this in and you can just get it a little bit damp and it blends out your concealer so beautifully. I cannot apply my concealer now without this. Even when this is dry, it works really great at just blending everything in. Honestly, I know people are like, I don't want to spend the money on beauty blenders, but they really do work well. I have a like strong love-hate relationship with them because I hate having to wash them all the time and then damp them. It's just kind of a pain, but I think it's worth it in the end because I do think that it really improves the look of your makeup. I think it looks a lot more natural and seamless. It really just blends everything out. Your skin will not look cakey at all. So especially in the summer when you want your skin to just look like skin, highly recommend getting one of these, especially for like photographs and stuff. This is amazing. I mean, you don't have to use it just for under your eyes. You can also use it around here. Okay, next up, I have some skincare products to talk about. These companies are both new to me the last month or two, but I've been very impressed with both of these companies. So the first one, I was very hesitant to try. It's by the company called Clarity MD. It's, it's called their Clear Skin Formula. This is their Deep Pore Cleanser, and then I have the Clarifying Serum. The reason I was skeptical is because... <sighs> Acne, like products that are geared toward acne tend to be for teenage skin and they tend to be very drying on your skin, kind of harsh. 
and my skin is very, very sensitive. So I like products that are, you know, going to treat my pimples, but I don't want to dry my skin out completely. So the reason that I was okay, okay with trying this is because it says that it's designed for adult skin, which really intrigued me. The fact that it's for my type of skin, I was like, you know what, I'll give it a try. It also is free of benzoyl peroxide, sulfates, parabens, it's cruelty free, and then it's a nature powered anti-acne technology. So I was like, you know what, I'll try it out. It has 1% salicylic acid in here. And I, I just love this. So what I've been doing, they say you're supposed to use this morning and night, um, you know, every day. But I don't have intense acne. I just get, like, the occasional breakout. So I don't need to use this every day. Definitely, if you do suffer with acne, you would want to use this every day. But what I do is use it every other night. So I still use my Cebu cleanser in the morning, wash my face, but what I do with this is I'll take my makeup off at night and I'll use this after. But what it's been doing for me is preventing any breakouts. Like literally this month I've had no pimples, like maybe one pimple and I used this clarifying serum and it was like gone the next day. But I think before what I was doing is whenever I would get any breakouts I would then have to treat them and use all my products to treat them which you know, I have a lot of products that will help treat product, treat pimples once you get them. But this is really good at preventing any breakouts at all. So it's just a really good, like, preventative cleanser. And I never really, I feel like a lot of people don't think that cleansers do much. But especially with this, this has just shown me that cleansers are a big deal and they actually do a lot for your skin. My skin is so sensitive and this has not made my skin turn red, it has not dried my skin out, my skin is not flaking or anything, it's very, very gentle, but it still really works. This is what like the package comes with. I'm going to give you guys one of these away, um, but I have one of these in my bathroom right now. So basically you just wet this and then you apply your cleanser on it or on your face, whatever. And when you rub it around your face, it softens up and it just cleanses everything out of your pores. So it allows the cleanser to get really deep into your skin. And I have no blackheads anymore. My pores are like diminish. It just makes your skin feel so clean. I just love it. So if you guys want to win one of these, um, you'll get the cleanser, the serum, and the little sponge. I'll have all the info, info down below if you do want to win that. The next company I wanted to mention is called Made From Earth. So my friend works for this company, so I got some of these to try out. And again, very skeptical. I was like, you know what? I have my skincare. I know it works for me. Um, it actually took me a while to actually start using these. And finally when I did, it was just like, this is amazing. So my favorite out of the line is the Skin Correcting Toner with Vitamin C. So when you look on the back, it has this long list of ingredients, but they are all natural. Like they are all just amazing ingredients. There's the first ingredient is witch hazel. There is aloe vera in here, vitamin C, yucca, sage, just a ton of like herbs, kelp, uh, grape, just a ton. Orange peel extract. The scent of this is out of this world. Like like a sweet. A sweet orange it smells delicious so I spray this after I wash my face can you see how much I've used of this I've only only had this for like a month and I have already done with half of this so I picked the vitamin C one because this is supposed to help even out your skin tone and that's been something that I've been wanting to kind of target this month is just working on evening out the tone of my face the redness and all that good stuff so this is so good for that sorry if you hear Kyla barking I just got some Vitacos box in the mail. So this is supposed to strengthen the skin's natural defense system, balance your pH levels, and give a hydrating, refreshing lift. So it feels very re refreshing on your skin, and it's supposed to kind of protect your skin from environmental stressors. Love this, this is so good. The other product is their Rose Hip and Hibiscus Face Serum. This is recommended for all skin types. It's supposed to calm your skin, and it serves as an anti-inflammatory and it has vitamin A, D, E, and antioxidant flavonoids in here. So the main ingredient in here is aloe vera, which is so hydrating to the skin. It just adds a ton of moisture. There's also hibiscus flower extract, which, which is an antioxidant. There's coconut oil and rosehip seed oil. And rosehip seed oil has a lot of omega-3 and 6 fatty acids in here, which is going to even out your skin tone, just kind of make it look plump and firm. This is very lightweight. It feels really soft and soothing on your skin. So after I spray this, I put this on, and then I've been using this as my nighttime moisturizer. This is the Vitamin Enhanced Moisturizer, 
It has vitamins A, B, C, and E, and it also has Rubio's tea in here. So the main ingredient in this is, again, aloe vera. There's avocado oil in here, which is so good for your skin. Uh, jojoba oil, the Rubio's tea. There is vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin A, just so many good ingredients. Ylang ylang, rosemary. Um, this one does have a little bit more of a scent. This smells kind of like herbs, very herbally. This is a very lightweight moisturizer. It feels really soothing to your skin, really soft. Um, I wake up in the morning and my skin still feels very hydrated, just very calming too. So if you have sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend these. Next, I've totally forgot to talk about this. It was in my bathroom still. So this is by Cosmetics. And I mentioned this in a previous video. I was telling you guys that I've been using something new to take my makeup off. It's a cleansing oil. It has Moringa, Argan, and olive oil inside. And it works so great at taking all of your makeup off. I usually use coconut oil. And this somehow works a hundred times better. I don't even know how. It just melts everything off of your face. It's cruelty free. It feels so nice. I'm obsessed with this. So I highly recommend you guys try this. Just gets all of your impurities out. It feels so amazing. Okay, one more makeup item and then I'm going to get into some random favorites. So this is the Cover Effects Calming Primer. And I know you guys have heard me talk about this before, but I wanted to mention this in this month's favorites because I've been really using it a lot lately. and. For kind of the same reason as all these products, I feel like this month I've been really all about my skin, just um, not really applying a ton of makeup. I want to keep it in light layers because it's so dang hot here right now. And I've been really concentrating on evening out my skin tone. So the calming primer helps to reduce your redness and soothe highly sensitive, inflamed and irritated skin. Um, especially if you guys have rosacea, rosacea or any other skin issues, this is a really good product to use because it's not going to irritate you at all. It's going to actually treat your problematic skin. It's a very lightweight texture. It's kind of like a gel. I've just been really liking this in the summer especially because when you're in the sun more often your skin is a little bit more sensitive and it can be inflamed. And this, when you put it on in the morning, just feels so like soothing and just, it feels very, very nice. Okay, if you've made it to the end of this video, I'm going to go over a couple of my favorite songs and TV sh shows because I've been liking some new things. So I just downloaded Spotify for the first time. It's amazing. I don't pay for it, I just have like the free one. But the reason I like it is because when you pull it up, if you don't have it, um, any time of the day, you can click browse. Ugh, our internet has seriously been off like all day. Dang it, I can't even show you guys or it's trying to work right now. So say it's like in the afternoon, it'll pull up stations that you might like. So it'll say like afternoon acoustic or like a workout mix. Oh, here it comes. So like here it has the top hits and then it has like re-energize, afternoon groove, deep focus, no school, no worries, one more rep, beach vibes. I just think that is the coolest thing ever. So when you click on it, it has a pre-made playlist that you shuffle and it you know shuffles there. I want to show you guys a couple of my favorite playlists if you do have this. So I love evening acoustic for like when I'm cooking dinner at night. Uh, indie chill out is really good. Teen pop is really good if you like just like poppy music. Um, afternoon acoustic is also good. Mellow morning, good vibes. TGIF, uh, cardio, early morning rise. But this has a lot of music that I've never heard before and it's just very like like, you feel like you're in a coffee shop. Okay, and then some songs from my iTunes that I've been loving. If you guys like country, Dan and Shay's song called Show You Off is my obsession. Like, I listen to it on repeat so many times. Marvin Gaye by Charlie Puth and Megan Trainer. I love that song. It's just like a feel-good song. I love the beat to it. It's so good. Roses by Chainsmokers is really good, too. It's like a... It has a good beat. It's a really good like driving song or working out. I just like hanging. It's I love it. So go YouTube these songs. What else? Um, I've also been listening to a ton of Ed Sheeran and a ton of Sam Hunt. I freaking love Sam Hunt. Sam Hunt. He is the best. And last, I have to talk about my absolute favorite TV show right now, which is Downton Abbey. So it's on PBS, but I watch it on Amazon Prime, and I like it. Because my parents told me to watch it. And I was just kind of like, eh. I watched like two episodes and was hooked. It's about a very well-off family um, in the 1920s, and they live in this giant estate called Downton Abbey. On the bottom floor is where the, their servants live, and it's kind of like the relationship between the servants and the family and the secrets that they have for each other. 
Um, it shows like their relationships, how they grow over time, people get together, and there's just like a lot that goes on. I like it because it's a lot, it's about like romance, and like real romance, and it's very, it's just so different than so many shows that are out right now. I like seeing how people lived back then, the things that they wore, the things that they ate. It's so interesting to me. So I highly recommend you guys watch it if you have Amazon Prime or if you have PBS or whatever. I don't know, we don't get cable, so we watch all our shows on like Amazon Prime and that sort of thing. But it's so, so good. So those are all my favorites for this month. I hope you guys got some good recommendations. I will list everything I mentioned down below. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye. All right, I took all the tails off and just added a little bit of pepper and garlic salt and then I'll just add that on top and my salad is done.